Hi there and welcome back and I hope you're having fun designing this uh, fun cartoony monsters and now let's continue with designing the baby of these two I mean you can imagine that it's going to be horrific well maybe not because we can design some cute little baby and we're going to design a baby that sits down so uh, when you design a monster baby you have to have a con into consideration the features of a human baby so what does a human baby have it has a large head in comparison to its body and now let's design this baby monster as if it's a seated down so i'm going to design the body of this baby being on the ground as his parents are here and i'm going to design a large large feet so i'm going to have the baby having his legs like spread uh like spread here and having his paws on the ground like that in front of him like a really baby-like position uh, so this is something that will enhance the look of a cute monster baby so what else do we know about this baby-like uh, monster from his parents well he will have mm, hairy paws even his his front arms are going to be hairy so we're gonna design uh, these arms just do a slight line here to signify where the fingers are and here is the thumb and here is another thumb and just uh, refine this feature here of this uh, of this uh, ellipse and do one and two stretches here to design the other hand and let's just make a line up to define the baby's arms and they're going to be chunky but short arms and now the baby's legs are going to be here so they're going to be behind the arm so we're just going to signify that now let's design the baby's features and now it has to look like this too what kind of features shall we think about here one thing will have a big forehead but also big eyes so let's design the big eyes being a little bit lower down on the face because uh, that's what babies have they have large forehead and they have big eyes and they have smaller mouths so then the baby needs to look like his parents so what is gonna have it's going to have a round little nose like that what else is gonna have maybe is the baby is going to have um, a wide mouth with one tooth so let's bring the mouth closer to the eyes because this is what babies have they have their mouth their face is basically gathered together what else does baby have they have cheeks they have cute cheeks so let's give this baby cheeks by at the corners of the mouth it's going to be cute monster baby with cheeks and what else does it have to look like its parents was it will have these teeth here that are coming out uh, this is like a monstrous uh, teeth and now let's have his eyes being really really uh, big and large pupils mm -hmm. to have to enhance his cuteness and it's already coming along having these monsters look like his parents because of the mouth but also it looks rather cute what else can we have let's have the chin being more like a rather like a baby let's have large ears like his parents so just have one ellipse here and one less ellipse here uh, being the ears and maybe if it's a boy it's going to have small little horns like his father and it's already looking cute uh, and we can have his eyebrows being, being higher up or maybe around here uh, very very tiny eyebrows and now this baby is going to have also some fur so let's design the ears and refine them like that pointy ears like his father use the placeholder to design the ears uh, and follow this shape that i'm showing you it's kind of like troll kind of ears and a pointy little but still around it 
horns because this baby is still cute. It's a cute monster. It's not as scary and grumpy as his father is. And let's design this ellipsis here being the pose of this baby. So just enhance this, this ellipse and do one, two rounded shapes to signify the pose and the lower part of the paw uh, is basically the, the feet of this baby. And here is the same way. You see how easy it is when you have the ellipses to follow these shapes. And now we have a baby uh, signify the legs here. And now we can have the dress of the baby or some kind of a or maybe we can just have four of the baby it's not gonna have any dress any clothes on so just do the fur of the baby it's going to look even more cute it has its natural look and the fur is basically a color or shade the back part of the body so we can have the arms sticking out sticking out and as if they're on the floor and they're before the body. Uh, this is another thing that I already told you about, how you can have one thing appear being farther away and one thing appear being in front of something else by shading the part that is farther away darker. And now let's have this, the hair of the baby. Uh, the baby monster just have a hair everywhere like that and this is basically the monster of these parents now let's refine that with a black pencil and see the baby that we are going to have and the horns and the ears the pointy but cute ears why does big ears make make it look like a baby is basically because we think of puppies or kittens, you know, they have disproportionately large ears in comparison to their faces. So, so this is also reminds of, reminds us of puppies and the cute little noses. They're not going to have these disgusting noses like his father, not yet anyway. Uh, the words and uh, these proportional things are going to come a little later, but right now we want to like this baby. So remember what we do to make uh, to make a monster cuter. We just take away some of um, the the monstrous features, the disgusting features of normalities and so on, and uh, that will make the monster look even cuter and we will accept it better we will like it more rather than being scared of it and even just having this fluff on the baby's head it makes it look cuter a hair in disarray the cheeks make the baby look cuter we like cheeks something rounded something that reminds us of fluffy stuff fluffy cheeks and reminds us of children and children always makes us look makes us accept a character design as something that looks like a kid. It looks cute. Uh, this is a very human-like feature that we tend to have genetically coded in us. Otherwise, all, uh, otherwise we wouldn't be able to reproduce to know how much the babies cry and how much they need to be taken care of. They have to look cute, right? So does the monster baby. It's the same thing for the monster baby. They need to look cute, so we have to like them and say, well, this monster is not that scary after all because it's a small baby. It's innocent and it can't do us any harm besides crying all night. But that's why, that's what he has parents for. And... Uh, yeah, so just uh, do these graphic elements and you can just doodle it out. There is no rules here because we want this baby's hair to look just fluffy and in disarray. When you have something, you know, a little kitten coming out from its night sleep and it, the hair looks in all in disarray, uh, we, we feel sorry for a kitten. We feel, 
we immediately feel empathy and sympathy for it. So a baby monster with his hair in disarray is just as cute as a little kitten with a hair in disarray. And um, it's a cute little design. So I hope you can be following these steps along with me and I hope you can redraw it over and over again and maybe you can add some other features to the baby. Let's have also the eyes uh, bulging out by just enhancing this area and uh, by just shading the area around the eyes a little bit darker so it has the eyes bulging out a little bit more. And with the very, very small eyebrows, tender eyebrows, that will soon look like his father. Fluffy and grumpy eyebrows. But for now, it's cute. It's really cute. So this is our monster family. And I hope you learned a lot from this lecture. And I hope mostly you had fun. And I hope you enjoyed this course of how to draw cartoony monsters. So I would just encourage you to practice, practice, practice. Use those all these techniques that you've learned here to design your own monsters and find your own different characters and um, having fun. Well, thank you for joining me and see you around. Bye from me.